Uh. Uh. I'm enjoying this game. Dude, I tried the Stanley Parable thing. I have to admit, I tried the Stanley Parable. I, I wasn't really a big fan of it. I had no idea what was going on. I don't know. It just was. It wasn't very like I say engaging for me. Do you know what I mean? Whereas this, like, I have to move around and do you know what I mean? Like, move blocks and do sh like the other one. It was sort of like just walking and like listening to the narrator. And it was funny. Don't get me wrong. It was really funny. But um, I don't know. It was still. I don't know. It just got. It got to a point where I was like, hmm. I was like, eh, I'm fed up of this now. Oh wow. respect the unique progress of every patient, you must understand that it is possible to completely exhaust your supply of dreams, thereby entering a state in which you will not be able to wake up, even with the help of triggering mechanisms. Brandon, we'll go outside uh, to go party, mate. I don't, don't blame her. Yo, Stark, this game, this game's really cool, man. I'm having, I'm having fun with this. It's been super interesting to play. Oh, what the yuck? Okay. I have no idea what is happening with this right now. Ah. Uh, this is confusing the shit out of me. Uh. Perception is reality. God, this is horrible. I'm following the arrows, man. I really like puzzles. Yeah, mate. Like this, this game's crazy, man. Like it's good fun, though. I've also downloaded Portal as well to give Portal another go. Um, I can't remember. I've played Portal 1 for five hours. I don't know if I completed it in five hours or what, but um, I played it for five hours. So. Please listen carefully for the sound of an alarm clock which will automatically play if you are approaching a destabilizing dream weight. Whoa, that's crazy. What? And then I'm back in the bedroom. I have no idea. Oh my god, how many percent is that loading? Holy shit. This is highly unusual. Please get up it appears you have entered the Sonom Asphalt Diagnostic Framework. Patients do not have access to this dream. Diagnostic warning. Unrealistic use of dream objects may result in dream integrity fail state state states. What the f Dude, I don't get how this game... <laughs> Now I'm guessing like if I go through this, I'm gonna be tiny, right? Yeah, I'm small. I is small. Okay. What on earth? Diagnostic warning. warning. Paradox prevention protocols may not be fully implemented. Implemented. Have I lost my building? Oh, um, one sec. <laughs> Wait, it has something to do with jungles. This is highly unusual. It appears you have entered the Sun Asphalt's diagnostic framework. Patients do not have access to this dream. Okay. So if I... If I literally just pull that... Diagnostic 
diagnostic warning. Unrealistic use of dream objects may result in dream integrity fail state. Did I have to walk through it first? Is that a thing? Maybe I had to walk through it first. I literally did it before. All I had to do is that. Yeah. Ooh. There is a computer thingy that talks to you while dreaming. No, so you're basically it's a place where like they help you sleep or something, or they they help you dream. Uh, I I can't I I sort of. Did remember it a little bit and then just completely forgot because um basically there was there was just too much going on. <laughs> I, I can't even remember what we were talking about before because I've got a headache. Glenn Pierce, it's hurting my brain. Many years ago, I had a dream. I found myself in a place where I understood that each of us begins as nothing where everything I perceived was shaped by seeing it exactly the way I wanted to. Oh, White good. space. Okay. I don't know if this is like near the end or... I have no idea. I have no idea how long this game is. Do it harder. Hey, do it as much as you want, man. Oh sh**, thunderstorms, thunderstorms, so where we go? It's not a thunderstorm, it's a thunder battle! Sorry, anyway. <laughs> I'm gonna move my microphone as well at some point. But like, it's like Inception, think of it as Inception. You're within like a dream within a dream within a dream. And it's confusing as sh**. Not an exit? I don't know, you pretty much look like an exit to me, dude. I say, you, you should be able to experience, you should be able to see the 1080, but um, it won't be... Oh my god, here it is. Dude. That way? Nice. Um, you won't have the other options if there's too many people in a category. You won't get the... You will have to basically watch it at 1080. Do you know what I mean? But normally 930 is better. But I noticed on when I was doing... When I streamed Satisfactory at 930p. Um, it was really, really sort of pixelated compared to normal. Like compared to other games. That is awesome. That's the way it should work. Oh, that's my understanding of it, um, Silent, but yeah, like. But in white space, I also faced the greatest challenge I could imagine. Okay. Because with a lifetime of life itself behind me and all of the weight that it carried, I realized that seeing things the way I wanted to was not as easy as it used to be. Feel free to jump if you want in the Discord and we can do, um, we're on the ARC server, you can, oops, you can jump into the ARC server if you want when we get that going. I was waiting for something to happen, didn't realise I had to move. This is so confusing. Can I, I can't go up there. Oh wait, I can walk through that though, can I then go up here? Oh my days, dude. Oh my god, this dude it it boggles my mind. It really boggles my mind. 
Like, what the f is going on? Let me out of here. Get me out. Dude, if, if, oh, if my dreams are like this, I beckon swear down. Yeah, feel like as I say, feel free to jump in silent. Anybody who's in the Discord is more than welcome to join. I'll need to get the numbers of who's gonna join so that I can check that everybody can join on the on the server, you know? That you won't get discouraged. After all, if this is a place of pure perspective, isn't it also a place where a different point of view could make anything possible? Isn't that why you came here? Uh. This is confusing as f 